Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordy. I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. Uh, we're going to get started by pulling a 10 card tarot spread. I'll shuffle the cards on camera and pull all 10 cards in a row. And then we'll move into uh, the full reading after I pull a couple of oracle cards. So it may take a couple of minutes just to get things set up, but ultimately it'll come together in a beautiful way. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting below, and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support. On the split is the Seven of Swords reversed and the Ace of Pentacles. Sometimes the Seven of Swords reversed can talk about secrets coming out accidentally, you know, not when you want them to. Something being exposed. When it comes to money, Children, intentions, long-term endeavors, careers, money, op opportunities, something like that. So the first card is the Nine of Wands. Influencing that is the Three of Pentacles. In the middle of the reading is the Four of Swords. In the recent past is the Six of Swords. In the distant past is Judgment. We have strength in the future. We have the Seven of Swords representing you. Next to the Strength card, it does ask the question, are you going to do the right thing, Pisces? Three of Cups. When it comes to love or relationships or groups of people, the outcome is the Ten of Wands, the Fears and Desires is the King of Cups. In the middle of the reading, on the bottom, in the environment position, is the Three of Cups. And underneath the bottom of the deck is the Chariot Reversed. So yeah, first glance I look at this reading, it's like there might be some forgiveness or there's some reevaluation about the past. And in the future, there's an opportunity to do the right thing. Strength, Seven of Swords. Right thing for you. But also with the Three of Cups, there might be pressure, and the Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords, to do the right thing for other people involved as well. So, your first card flying out is the Beetle. Scarab Beetle. Magic works through you. So... That further uh, highlights how there's a big impact with what you do in this situation, how you respond, how you react, how you handle things, how you move forward. Oh. Too many cards. We'll try shuffling again. So we're going to grab a Kipper fortune telling card. What does this have to do with? We have card number one, which says main male. So maybe you're the main character in this dynamic, Pisces. There could be a masculine energy involved. Um, could talk about taking action. Being responsible. And we'll grab a Cultural Wisdom card. So we have the Power of Love coming through. Odo Nui Fi Quan is the name of this symbol. The Power of Love. This represents love never losing its way home, symbolizes those led by love always end up in the right place. So doing, taking action from your heart space, Pisces, is the overall theme. Being brave, okay? Um, yeah, in the current moment, we have this Nine of Wands, so it's like you don't know exactly how to move forward. With the Six of Swords being in the recent past, you things are naturally flowing in a specific direction. Are you going to go with the flow, or are you going to create your new path? Um... I think it's up to you to take a step, take initiative, and to create a new path for that river to flow. So 
Our habits, our opinions, our expectations have created the riverbanks on which the emotions flow within. Those are hard formed. Those are, you know, guiding our emotions and feelings. So there's a limits to our emotional capacity to heal and to understand and have compassion for a situation because of the ruts and grooves within our mind of these opinions and expectations and limitations. And uh, this go with the flow attitude serves people during difficult situations or situations of apathy and boredom. But when it comes to truly um, recreating new pathways, new forms of thought, new ruts and grooves for the water and the emotions to flow through. This is where we can break old karmic ancestral patterns. This is where we can change the course of our destiny. And uh, this is where magic is working through you, Pisces. The power of love creates new pathways. So um, look at the individual card pairings. So we have the Nine of Wands and the Strength card. Both talk about having strength. The Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords talks about having to work together and collaborate. Maybe not wanting to. Maybe just wanting to do the thing that serves you the best. But with the Four of Swords reversed, that could, create a, that could reopen a wound. That could make things worse. And with the Three of Cups being beneath it, there is celebration and abundance in working together with these two threes. We have the Six of Swords and the King of Cups reversed, which shows that your feelings might be stagnated or flowing in a specific way that's been flowing for a long time. And that's where I was getting that analogy of like recreating the path of, of your emotions. And uh, with the Judgment reversed and the Ten of Wands reversed, there's a huge release, a huge renewal that can happen in this dynamic if you were to accept responsibility, Ten of Wands. Okay? All right, that's what I've got for your reading. Thank you, Pisces, and I'll see you again soon.